Okay, um, hi there, my name is Tom, um, and on this channel, so this is my first video obviously, on, on this channel I'm going to be doing um, painted tutorials for Warhammer 40k. So if you're not already familiar with Warhammer 40k, it's basically a game with um, miniature figures and dice, okay, but you have to assemble the figures on your own and paint them. So probably the painting is the hardest part. Um, because with the assembly you can go wherever you want. Um, so in this specific video, I'm going to be doing a painted tutorial for a Chaos Space Marine. Okay, so from the Chaos Army, just your standard troop. So um, this video, um, well these videos, are going to be split up into segments for this whole painting tutorial. Um, and in this first video, uh, we are going to be going over the kit that you will need to use. So obviously some of it may not be compulsory. But, I'm just going to go over it, just to give you the basic idea. So let's get into it. Okay, let's get started with um, the basics. Okay, so here, I've got a Citadel palette pad. Okay, so this is just for um, putting your paint on, so you've got it there. So you don't have to keep on drawing it out, and um, obviously, because it will make it difficult anyway, because you need to water it down ideally. Okay. So, um, I've already got a page ripped out, right there, Okay, so we'll be using that to paint on. Okay, so, also as well, you're going to want to be able to clean out your brushes. So as you reach across here, I've got a Citadel water pot, okay? So, you can do use whatever you want um, to fill, some, well, obviously you just need to fill something with water that you're happy to get paint in, and that will be fine to wash your brush off with. I tend to use a Citadel one because it's, as you can see here, it's got all these bits around the outside to hold different sizes of brushes to so just keep them in there soaking. So you don't want to leave them in there for too long soaking because it will eventually attack the glue, which could ruin the brush, but it's unlikely that that will happen if you keep control of it. Also with the palette pad, again, you can use whatever you want, a tile, a piece of paper. Also with a piece of paper, it will soak into it. Um, this is waxy paper, so you can actually write on this as well. Um, plus as well, you've got, um, uh, you can just buy a plastic artist palette, but that will be perfectly fine, as long as you wash it off. With this, this is disposable. Okay, so let's go into the brushes. Okay, so for the brushes, we're going to start off from smallest to largest. Okay, so of course, first off, they don't want to roll off the table, you can't see that, but this is a small detail brush. Okay, so this is all sitting out except for one, um, but you can see there, it's very fine. It would focus. There we go, kind of. I'm sure you can just about see it anyway. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is an older one from the Citadel range, but still it does exactly the same job. So, I'll check that over there. So, here we have a small layer. Okay, so this you could use, do your base with, so your base coat, or you could just do layering, which I tend to use it for, but you could also use this small detail brush. Okay, so next up is a bigger one, because we're on to the big ones now. This is a small dry brush, okay. So compared to the other small dry brush, um, well the older one, this is massive, okay. But, it's quite tough at the end, see there, not very flexible, but that is basically for dry brushing, which can give really cool effect on bases or the model itself. Okay, so here is... Again, this is the one that uh, I'm, is not Citadel, but this is a really soft brush, okay, and it's fairly um, bold at the end, you see, um, it's almost like a makeup brush, but this is going to be used for applying washes because it's so soft and easy to move, and it's quite big as, big as well, not brig, um, so you can get a lot of wash on the end and obviously get it all over the model. And finally, we have a medium base, okay, so you can see there, it's a fairly wide tip at the end. Mine is obviously not too good quality because I've used it so much out of all the miniatures that I've painted. Um, you see a lot of red on it, most of my stuff is red. Um, so, as you can see here, um, <laughs> it's a pretty big brush, but that's going to be used for like panels and just giving it a base coat. Okay, so here we are with... You can see I've taken away two of the brushes, okay, and that is the medium brace and the small layer, and that's because these aren't really compulsory. I'd recommend the medium base more, 
but you could just use a small detail brush to get more precise on the base coat and obviously for doing details as well um, wash you can't really get rid of that and dry if you're doing dry brushing then you definitely need one of them and um, something that I forgot to mention was a texture spreader so you could just use an old brush for this but it would knacker it and you won't be able to use it again um, so this is essentially for scooping up mud as it looks like it's a paint that looks just like mud which you'll see in a minute um, but this um, it's obviously just to smear it around rather than wasting a brush on it I <laughs> imagine doing that for each model um, so yeah it's just made up plastic it's quite cheap to buy from Citadel you could just use something like a um, lollipop stick and that would do just as good as a job okay so moving on to the paints there is an absolute ton of them just for one model Okay, and the paints aren't very cheap but I use all Citadel stuff just because it you can stay a bit more accurate if I come out a bit. See, those are all the paints there. Alright. So there is a quite a few as you can see. But I will go through each one and explain their purpose. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this one, which is messed on red. Okay, so this is my base coat. Okay. And the reason why I said my is because you can change it to whatever you want. Okay, for instance you can take this out, say grab Calidor Sky from back here, or Siltec Green as that is. Um, I thought it was Calidor Sky, it looks a bit different through the camera. Or, Stegum Scale Green, as are my Space Marines, that is the colour they are. And, obviously then as well, you could take something like, um, black, even if you wanted to. Um, like, you could do a Black Legion Army for Chaos. Or, essentially whatever colour you want, okay? So it doesn't have to be red, okay? But, I'll do it as if you, you can do whatever, the same step, for whatever colour. Okay, so if we shuffle these over there, I'll bring them into frame. So we've done that one. Okay. Um this is gonna be layering for the trims, so my trims are gonna be retrobus farmer, which I'll grab now. Yep, there we go. So that's quite a nice colour. But then you don't have to do retrobus farmer, you could do something like lead voucher, which is silver, or you could even do um another metallic colour like um, one that I don't have here, um, but it's called Cyclist Bronze. Okay, so if you went into your local games, local games workshop, you could see it. Okay, so moving on, we've got Stegum Scale Green, which I'm going to use for the plate on the gun. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see a plate, but uh, you have to look closely. Okay, so then we've got Abaddon Black for doing things like horns, which this guy does have, but you haven't seen the model yet, but on I... Honestly, he does have horns. Okay, next up, Siltec Green. That looks completely different through the camera. All the other colours look the same. Um, but this is going to be for um, his eyes, probably. Okay, so I lied about um, Siltec Green. This will be for his eyes. And then Siltec Green will go over the top as a layer. So not all over it, but just on the top. Okay, so this is probably going to go on any weapons, if he has any, which I don't think he does. But still, it's nice to have that there, just so, because it's such an amazing colour. Um, it dries um, clear, and it's, um, it's see-through, um, but it's red. So you can easily do, like, pools of blood on the base, and it looks really, really good. Okay, so then, well, this, this is the texture, which is like mud, and it's called Sterling Mud. I'm just going to smother that all over the base to give it a nice good look. Then we've got Sandry Dust, which is for cloth. Then Longbeard Grey, which is a dry brush for um, black bits like the horns. Then we've got Ceramite White, which is just for white bits. But I don't think there's too many on this model. Maybe one, if that. Okay. Um, so, all the Karma Gold, which is just a layer on Gehenna's Gold. Okay. So, that's obviously layering over Retribute's Rama. And Screaming Skull, okay, which is for bone accents on it. And Steel Legend Drab, which again, you could use this instead of Zandri Dust, whatever. Okay, Evil Sun Scarlet to layer over the Mastodon Red. And finally, Lead Belcher for silver bits like the gun and bits on the backpack, okay. Okay, so one paint that I forgot to mention was Agrax Earth Trade, which is to wash. Okay, so you don't want to forget that. Definitely don't want to forget it. Okay, so if you look in front of the camera, which obviously you are, 
I have a pile, well not a pile, but a mass of paint, okay? So these are essentially your ones that you need, the essentials. So over here, we have the rejects, the ones that you don't essentially need, but if you want a brilliant looking look model, you may want to get them, but, it, well obviously it depends on your painting, but, um, with these, it will give you a somewhat tabletop standard model to p use um, in a game. So obviously, the Games Workshop always like it when your things are painted. Okay, so, um, as you can see here, we've got Agrax Shade, Ned Belcher, Abaddon Black, Retrieve Drama, um, Sterling Mud, Longbeard Grey, which is a dry brush, Ceramite White, Zandri Dust, Screaming Skull, and of course, Mephiston Red. Okay, so um, that is all the kit that you're probably going to need um, to paint Sister Down Miniatures. Okay, so it's quite a bit there, but like I said, I went through all little bits that you could change just to make it that little bit cheaper. And obviously, you can change up for whatever paint you want. Okay, so whatever colours, you could even, if you wanted to, use other acrylic paints. Because obviously, most models are made out of plastic. You do get the occasional one made out of metal. But you can still use normal paints. Um, but you don't have to use all the sister love stuff. You, ha you can use whatever you want. As long as you think it's worthy enough, and it will do a good job. So, that will do it for the first part of the um, painting tutorial. So, that was the kit that you'll need. Okay. So I'll, obviously I, I like to go through the, the paint, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so if you enjoyed that video, please um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Because I've just realised that YouTube has done away with the like button. Or whether that's just on my devices, I don't know. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, if you do. And like I said... I won't ask again, but if you want to see more, then um, you may want to just go through and see if you can find the other videos in the playlist. Okay, so thank you all for watching this video, and goodbye!